Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow one pepper plant and one tomato plant in lead pot max hydroponic system and I am using the two pot tray that comes with this system. It comes with actually two trays, one with 21 pots and one with two pots. This two pot tray comes with one and a half inch net cup and it needs some special sponges that fit into this net cup but I don't have them available at the moment. So I am going to use a different medium. I am using a clay pebbles also known as hydrothon in this experiment but starting the seeds directly in the pod using this clay pebbles is very difficult and very challenging. So I am going to start the seeds in aero garden for the time being. Once the seeds are germinated I am going to transplant the seedlings along with the sponges into this net cup and I use clay pebbles at that time. So, I am going to use the aero garden pods for the germination. And I am going to place these pods in my aero gardens wherever two holes are available. I am going to place them and as soon as I see the seeds germinated, I am going to take them out. And coming to the varieties, for tomato, I am growing a tiny team and for peppers, I am growing fire and ice. This is ornamental as well as the edible peppers. Both plants are going to stay under one feet. Both are dwarf category plants. Let's see how they are going to work out in this lead pot max. Starting seeds is very simple and straightforward. I am just placing one seed in each pod and start with these two pods. Hopefully these seeds are going to survive and germinate. If not, I will replace the seeds. This comes with just three seeds and it is very expensive so I am not going to waste the seeds. Same thing with tiny team. I am just placing a one seed. That's it. Now I am going to place these pods wherever two holes are available in any of my hydroponic systems. It's been 20 days. The seedlings I started in Aero Garden for Lead Pot Max are ready. This is the tomato seedling. It is coming really nice. And here is the pepper. It recently germinated and the seedling is coming very nice. Today I am going to transplant both these plants into Lead Pot Max. Here are the pots. I just took them from Aero Garden. Now I am going to transplant these into this Lead Pot Max. I am using the two pod tray that comes with the lead pot max and this tray comes with this one and a half inch net pot cups. So I am going to place them into these net pot cups. And to give support to these pods, I am going to use clay pebbles. This is also called as lecker as well as hydrothon. Now I am going to drop this clay pebble into this Next pot cup. I think this is good. I'm just trying to cover the gaps as much as possible so that the light won't pass through. I'll repeat the same for the other pod as well. I think this is good. I covered as much as possible. Now this goes here. That's it. This garden is all set and good to go. I am going to add water as well as the nutrition because I am starting with the seedlings. I am going to use aero garden nutrition throughout this experiment and I am going to use 4 ml of aero garden nutrients for every 1 liter of water. That should work very well for both pepper plant as well as the tomato plant. It's been 44 days since I started them from seeds and 24 days since I transplanted them into this lead pot max. Both plants are doing excellent. Starting with tomato plant, it is staying very healthy and growing really nice and it even started flower birds along with a flower. That's really wonderful growth. Coming to pepper plant, it is staying very low but it is looking very healthy, growing really nice. I see a couple of side branches and looks like it even started producing flower birds. They are extremely small. 
but it started that's really wonderful it's day 62 both plants are doing excellent look at this tomato plant it started putting lots of baby tomatoes while it is still flowering and producing lots of flower birds flowers all over the plant on the other side the pepper plant is also doing excellent it just started flowering look at these beautiful flowers and there are lots of flower birds this plant is staying very low very very low probably two and a half inches and producing lots of flower birds wonderful growth as of now i don't see any competition here both plants are doing good of course the cherry tomato plants grow fast compared to pepper plants that's exactly what i am seeing but i don't see any competition issue here i don't think this pepper plant is struggling in any way with that both are doing good it's day 71 both plants are doing excellent starting with tomato plant it already produced a bunch of tomatoes and they are growing very well and the plant continue to produce more flowers and it is still growing very well so this is all going good coming to pepper plant this plant is also at full bloom look at all these flowers there are lots of flowers this plant is staying very short and producing lots of flower birds look at all these flower birds there are multiple branches and the flower birds are all over the plant so this is all going excellent my only concern is in order to accommodate this tomato plant which is going pretty tall i had to raise the lights pretty far and they went actually far from the pepper plant i'm not sure if that is going to impact the growth of this pepper plant because this plant is not growing any tall it is just hanging there at probably six inches and producing lots of pep, uh, flowers not sure if this plant can grow any more tall but looking at all these flower birds i think it is going to hang in here and continue to produce peppers let's see where it will end up and let's see if uh, raising the lights far from the plant is going to impact the growth of this pepper plant i am very excited and curious it's day 84 both plants are doing excellent and some cherry tomatoes started ripening that's really nice it's just day 84 and it's very exciting to see these tomatoes started ripening and the plant is still not stopping anywhere it is still producing lots of baby tomatoes look at all these baby tomatoes all over the plant and it is still flowering so it is all going really good with this tomato plant on the other side the pepper plant is also doing excellent look at this pepper it is looking so cute very thin and getting tall so i'm really liking this variety and there are a couple of more baby peppers the plant is still very short but uh, producing uh, nice peppers i'm really excited to see these peppers getting matured and the plant is still at a full bloom look at all these flowers there are hundreds of flowers that's really nice i just had to shake the plant a little bit to help with the germination otherwise many of these flowers are not surviving maybe we can add a little fan but i don't have any spare fan to add it here so i'm going to do a little bit of shake like this and that's helping that's how i see these peppers are coming out so it's all going excellent so far it's day 88 a couple of tomatoes have ripened very well and they are ready to harvest look at these bright red colors wow on the other side the pepper plant is also doing excellent look at these cute peppers they are small but uh, they are getting tall and growing very well and i see a bunch of them on the plant and look at all these new flowers this plant is producing so many flowers it is very productive so far this is all going excellent it's day 90 both tomatoes and peppers coming excellent i already started harvesting tomatoes it is always better to start harvesting tomatoes as soon as they ripe otherwise these tomatoes will keep taking energy from the plant and the young tomatoes will take longer to grow and ripe so it is always better to start harvesting tomatoes as soon as they ripe and these tomatoes are very tasty similar to the tomatoes that have grown in aerogodin and other hydroponic systems 
So even though I am growing peppers and tomatoes together in the same garden, they are not impacting with each other. The tomatoes are very tasty and these peppers are growing very well. I am really excited to harvest these peppers and give them a taste test but so far so good. The tomatoes are coming really nice and I am waiting for these peppers. It's day 113. Most of the tomatoes have ripened from this plant and this plant needs resetting. So I am going to harvest all these tomatoes and give it a good trim and let it set up for second crop. On the other side, the peppers are doing excellent. Look at all these beautiful peppers and some of the first peppers started changing the colors. So I am really excited to see different colors forming on these peppers. So far so good. This pepper plant is doing really excellent. Lots of peppers and it is still flowering. And coming to the height, this is probably 6 inches high and very productive. Wow, wow, wow. Let's see where it will end up. It's day 137. Look at this beautiful pepper plant. Wow. Very nice and colorful. And it is still producing peppers. It's not stopping anywhere. Look at these baby peppers. I already started harvesting peppers. I think I harvested about 20 peppers so far. They are very spicy. So be very careful. But they are very good in cooking. On the other side, this tomato plant started regrowing. Look at all this beautiful new growth. I forgot to remove all the dead branches. So we should remove all these dead branches so that it will come up with a nice growth. Anyway, this plant is up for second crop. Let's see how this is going to turn out. And on the other side, the pepper plant is doing really excellent and producing lots of peppers. I don't think there will be anything new from this point. It's just going to be routine. The plant is up for second crop and it is going to produce tomatoes pretty close to how it produced uh, in the first crop. So that's going to take a lot of time, another 90 days. Hopefully this pepper plant will survive as this tomato plant is coming up with second crop. It's just routine from this point. I keep on feeding these plants and they keep on producing tomatoes and peppers. With that, I'm going to stop here. This experiment is very successful. The plant combination of tomatoes and peppers together worked out very well. And this lead pot max also performed really nice. I always had very great results with this lead pot max and now also I'm having a very good results. It has 36 voltage lights and uh, that's working very well for these fruiting plants. I have been feeding the same aerogarden nutrients and uh, I have been feeding uh, 4 ml for every 1 liter of water. That's working out very well. So I'm going to continue doing the same and uh, I hope these plants will continue to produce fruits. Let's see how long this will go on, but uh, since there is nothing much to show, I am going to stop here. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.